She was chosen to seal the once sleeping cloak cards by a long forgotten magician. Her name is synonymous with the Magical Girl genre. It's Kinamoto Sakura, also known as Card Captor Sakura. Figma Sakura is in her angel form uniform, one of the many uniforms her best friend Temoyo Daidoji makes. The outfit is an eye pleasing mix of pink, white, and a standout red. Her fluffy dress is perfectly balanced and has a hidden feature. But first, let's talk accessories, which she has a lot of. Starting with Kiro, her feisty talking companion with knowledge of all the clue cards. He has his own stand, allowing you to place him by her side. Sakura comes with a transformation key staff, as well as her card key staff, the must have tools for any card captor. The transformation staff has an add on, which allows you to recreate Sakura activating a cloud card. Cool indeed. Clo cards are literal wild cards, which are distinctly red, and Sakura cards, which are distinctly pink, are cards in which Sakura has found and tamed. The figure neatly comes with one of each. Aesthetically, Sakura comes with wings for her outfit and wings for her transformation staff which is another part of that hidden dress feature I hinted at earlier. That hidden dress feature, you may ask? You see, in the anime, Sakura can fly using her transformation staff. You can create this pose too by simply separating her dress, which allows Sakura to soar through the sky with her wing staff. Sakura comes with 3 faces and a total of 10 hands. The only major flaw the figure has is putting the staff wings on can be very difficult for the first time. It took me 30 minutes. But it gets easier at least. Figma card captures Sakura to me captures the feel of the Saturday morning anime I grew up watching. With a tremendous amount of accessories along with the smart dress feature, sculptors Shinji Koshinuma and Yuhi Katagiri brought to life the magic girl Sakura Kinomoto, also known as Cardcaptor Sakura. 